This is the first video of the crystallography series. We will discuss four basic concepts, crystal, lattice, unit cell, and lattice parameters. Let us begin with crystal and lattice. These two concepts are related but distinct. A failure to distinguish between them is a common cause of confusion among beginning students. Let us first define crystal. You can pause the video here and write down your own definition before looking at the definition provided here. So we define crystal as a translationally periodic arrangement of atoms in space. Crystal is an ordered entity and the nature of ordering is translational periodicity. But then what is this related concept lattice? Again, you can write down your own definition before looking at the definition provided here. So we define lattice in a very similar way like crystal, a translationally periodic arrangement of points in space. If you see, these two definitions are identical but they are different only at one in one word that is crystal is a translationally periodic arrangement of atoms lattice it translationally periodic arrangement of points so crystal is a physical entity because it is made up of atoms as a physical entity it will have physical and mechanical properties so for example a crystal will have a density and will have a Young's modulus. But lattice is, all, is a periodic arrangement of points, so it's just a mathematical or geometrical concept. We cannot really talk of density of lattice or Young's modulus of lattice. Another way of looking at lattice because of the translational periodicity of points that all points of a lattice have identical surroundings. This can also be taken as a definition and is equivalent to the definition given in terms of translational periodicity. So let us look at an example of a square lattice. So here the lattice points are at the corners of a square and they are periodically repeating. So if I select a square box here shown as a box of size A, then we have a unit cell. This is what will be called a unit cell of this two-dimensional lattice. So every lattice can be described by a unit cell. In a two dimension, the unit cell will always be in general, here it's a square, in general, it will be a parallelogram. If we generalize this concept of unit cell in 3D, so in 3D, it's a parallel pipette with lattice points at corners. In the most general case, even lattice points at corners is not a really a requirement, but however, we will consider for simplicity always unit cell in which the, at the corners we have the lattice points. Now the unit cell can be classified as two types. Sometimes we have primitive unit cells, sometimes we have non-primitive unit cell. That depends on whether lattice points of the unit cell are only at the corners. By definition, we are requiring the lattice points to be at corners, but whether they are only at corners, like in simple cubic unit cell, or they are also at points other than corners, like in body-centered cubic unit cell. If you have not heard these phrases, simple cubic and body-centered cubic, do not worry, we will be discussing them in future slides. Now we come to 
the final concept to be discussed in this video and that is of lattice parameters. We have a lattice and for the lattice we identified a parallel pipe which was unit cell. Now the parallel pipe itself can be described by certain lattice parameters. The way to get that is we select a corner of the parallel pipe as an origin and we select three vectors, the three edge vectors emanating from that uh, corner, from our chosen corner as the basis vectors. So they are A, B and C are called the basis vectors of this lattice or rather for this choice of unit cell within this lattice. Now these vectors are you can see at angles of alpha, beta and gamma. The way we define these angles is alpha is the angle between B and C and beta is the angle between A and C and gamma is the angle between A and B. So in a way for defining angle alpha it's opposite to A between B and C. Beta is opposite B between A and C. Now, the six scalar quantities corresponding to the vector A, B and C, the three lengths A, B and C, and the three interaxial angles alpha, beta and gamma are called the lattice parameters. So, if we are given the lattice parameters, we can construct the parallel pipe, the unit cell, and through that repeating that unit cell, we can construct the entire lattice.